Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Ordinary's Buffet Serum for a week to see if it's really good or not. I'm actually so excited because I've never used this serum before, so I hope that it actually is good. This one I think is about $14 or $15 for one ounce, which is, I want to say, like on the pricier end for the Ordinary. I think the Niacinamide Serum is literally only like $6 or $7 for one ounce, so yeah. But as I'm reading the box, it says that it visibly targets surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, and textural irregularities. So it just seems like it's going to hydrate and help with just like the overall appearance of your skin, like smoothing things out and helping with like the texture of your skin. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. And I will insert like a clip of the before and then I'll show you what my skin looks like every day. And then next week when I come back and I've used this for a whole week, we'll do like a little review and like compare and contrast the before and after clips to see how my skin like looks different, if it looks different, everything like that. And guys, we are trying to hit 11,000 subscribers on this channel, so if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna hop into the video, but before I do, don't forget to hit the like button. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I will insert my first impressions here. I'm gonna try this starting tomorrow, so that it's like a full week, so I will pop that clip in here. So my first impressions of this serum is that it's pretty like viscous, but it's not too thick. And when you apply it to your skin, it does soak in really nicely. It honestly reminds me of their other serums, like the niacinamide one or the hyaluronic one. I would say it's not as thick as the hyaluronic one and not as moisturizing, but it still feels pretty nice on the skin and very cooling. And it does feel very hydrating as well. There's no real scent, which I love because I really don't like when skincare has fragrance. I just feel like it's unnecessary and bad for your skin. But right now I'm going to play the clips of the different days so that we can kind of compare and take a look at them. So basically this is the before clip of my skin and this is what it looked like. And then this is comparing day one versus day two. Honestly, I don't really notice any difference. I feel like my skin looks exactly the same. And then day two versus day three, again, not noticing any real difference. I feel like I, my skin might look a little bit clearer, like my skin tone might be a little bit more even, but the different lighting also kind of made it difficult. And then this is day three versus day four. I feel like by day four, I definitely noticed that my skin was a little bit more glowy and like just brighter. My overall skin was a little bit brighter. Okay, day four versus day five. I think I started to break out on day five. I don't know if it's stress or what, but I feel like I always break out whenever I start a new serum or a new skincare product or if I'm like stressed out at work and I think that was like both of those things happened that day okay this is day 5 versus day 6 I still have my breakout but I feel like on day 6 my skin looks more glowy and brighter and more even Definitely not more clear though because of the breakout. <laughs> okay, and then this is the before and after. I feel like in the after clip, though I have a breakout, <laughs> my skin does feel um, like a little bit, again, brighter, more even skin tone. And I feel like the texture looks a little bit glowier. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like my skin texture looks more refined. Like my pores aren't as big. Maybe that's just how I feel when I look in the mirror. There's like a slight glow that I didn't have before and my skin just looks like more soft and felt more smooth. But of course, I'm breaking out, so that's not good. <laughs> so overall, how I feel about the serum, I do think it's a really good serum because I do feel like my skin looks better, like the texture and the tone looks a little bit better. But I am breaking out hella. I, don't know, I have like a pimple here. 
I literally am just breaking out and I don't know if it's because of the serum or what, but minus all the breakouts, I do feel like my skin tone looks better and my skin texture looks better. Like it feels softer and more smooth and like more glowy, all that good stuff, but I'm breaking out. And it could be the heat. I don't know why there's like a heat wave in San Diego right now. It's literally like 60 degrees one day and then like 90 degrees the next day. So I could be breaking out from the sweat and the sudden change in temperature because all of a sudden it was just like extremely hot. Not sure, <laughs> but I do like this serum. I feel like my favorite serum from them is probably still the niacinamide one, especially for when it's super hot like this because I'm just like sweaty and oily and I feel like the niacinamide one dries really nice and matte, whereas this, though it's not like sticky or greasy or anything, I feel like it's definitely more like moisturizing and hydrating. So I do like it better when it's like a little bit colder. Overall, I do feel like it improved my skin though. I feel like my skin looks better when I look in the mirror. I don't know how like amazing it is because I am breaking out and I'm like, maybe it's the serum that's causing me to break out, in which case definitely would not be a good thing, <laughs> but it could be a variety of things. I'm like trying to lose weight, I've changed my diet. So it could just be like all of those things in the heat wave, but yeah. Next week, I think I'm gonna try to do a review of the niacinamide one, so yeah, stick around for that. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you next time. Bye!